Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Painted Ladies. Today we're going to make chocolate chip cookies. We just made some cranberry cookies and now we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies and these ones are delicious you guys are gonna have to try this recipe so it starts out with um, one and a half cups of softened butter room temperature butter and in Phoenix Arizona it's very warm so it's not in our house sometimes I freeze one and a half cups of brown sugar and then we do one and a half cups of white sugar and then I need uh, some vanilla I have to look at my my recipe <laughs> I have to look at my recipe because I forget how much vanilla it says two teaspoons I want to cream these together for several minutes okay so you see that creamy that creamy texture looks all fluffy that's where you want it eggs and then you're gonna mix those for two minutes just two minutes is like the guy but you don't have to put on your timer just kind of make a note so all right so leave that two minutes. Do you see that texture you got in there? It's so nice and fluffy. Um, two teaspoons of baking soda. Um, one teaspoon of baking powder. And half a teaspoon of salt. So I add all of that into so there. Oh no! <laughs> well, those aren't going to rise. Just kidding. That was only a little bit. And then we add our five and three quarter cups of flour. And that's it. And then we just go ahead and raise this back up and slowly mix it in. So all of that is incorporated with your nice fluffy sugar egg butter mixture. Okay, so we have the flour all mixed together. And now I'm just going to see the consistency of these cookies. Now, I the flour I was using is like really aerated, so it was almost like it was um, it's not packed. So if you have packed flour, the five and three quarters is going to be good. But the if it's like really fluffy flour, it's going to take a little more just because it's not packed in there. So I want to add just a little bit more flour into my rest of my mixture here and let that mix in. Okay, so it is a little thicker now, just how I like it. So now I'm going to get my chocolate chips and I'm gonna mix this by hand. If anybody knows where I live and they'd like to have uh, some cookies tomorrow, uh, go ahead and stop by. <laughs> they might be gone by Sunday. <laughs> they might be gone by Sunday. <laughs> you never know. Put the milk chocolate also. You can get the semi-sweet, but I like the milk chocolate in chocolate chip cookies. I'm not a fan of semi-sweet chocolate unless unless it's in those um, you know those uh, Cadbury eggs. They used to have them. I haven't found them for a couple years, but. Cadbury eggs and they were like the dark chocolate Cadbury eggs those are so delicious but I haven't been able to find them so good and bad thing good thing that I can't eat them but bad thing because I miss them Mix up in there use some elbow grease oh yeah elbow grease in there see okay obviously need two bags but 
I could have even gone with three, but we'll make do with two, unless I have some more in a bag. I'm gonna check real quick, because I knew I saw someone, a bag of chocolate chips that someone got into. Canada says, you better use them, because I'm gonna keep eating them, so okay, I'll use them. <laughs> so there we go, Ooh, look at all those chocolate chips. You don't have to have a lined cookie sheet if you don't want to. Um, these don't stick. At least they shouldn't. <laughs> Watch. Somebody's going to make these and they're going to stick. But no, I've never had them stick. I just have this new fun silicone thing. That's why I use it. So you drop these on the cookie sheet about that far apart. Make them as big or small as you want. It's all how you like it. That's what counts the most. And there you go. And then I'm going to fill this sheet. And I preheated my oven to 350. And I put them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. I check them just because I like them kind of brown. But I don't like them too brown. But I definitely don't like them too light. Because I don't like it gooey in the middle of just gooey dough. But if you like them gooey in the middle of gooey dough, then don't put them in as long. And if you like them crisp, put them in for a long time. But I don't like them crisp. So I'm not going to do that. So see you back in a sec. When I used to make cookies. I made them up north and so the different the altitude difference is so crazy but anyways so these cookies right here were made were baked for six, 17 minutes and so you can see they're they're darker they have a nice still have a nice chocolatey yummy and then this batch was um, baked at 350 for 14 minutes and it's a a little less dark still nice and chewy and then these ones were what I used to um, bake them at up north and these were at um, 360 for 10 minutes and they're here they're really really gooey but still delicious anyways so you guys there's the three different ways to do it. You make them how dark you want it, how light you want it, but they're still delicious at all stages. So make them, enjoy them, and we'll see you next time.